In today's demo, I'm going to be showing you how to use Reddit to perform something called social media sentiment analysis for the cryptocurrency market. So these opinions, attitudes, and emotions that are being expressed all over Reddit, we can use that information to determine, hey, this could be a powerful indicator of which tokens are going up or which tokens are about to crash. First, we're gonna do web scraping with Reddit's API, and then we're gonna take all of that data, feed it to ChatGPT so we can quickly summarize and pull out that sentiment, pull out those opinions. And here is the working demo. So first, what we're gonna do is search all of these subreddits. So cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, crypto markets, we're going to pull out certain titles and comments, and then we're going to package all that up and send it to ChatGPT. And here is the answer that came back. So it talks about uh, Bitcoin here, uh, Ethereum here, and then the squid chain as a uh, L2, as also being talked about in the threads. As always, the first thing we need to do is do some pip installs. So let's pip install pra, python-env in ice cream. And then we're going to install OpenAI, but version 0.28. And before we get started, you're gonna to need to build a .env file. You're gonna need actually four keys for this demo. You need the OpenAI API key. You're gonna need the client ID key, the client secret, and then also the app name. These things here refer to uh, your Reddit app. Okay, to get these keys here, uh, client ID, secret, and app name, you need to come to Reddit. And so reddit.com slash prefs slash apps. Let's go ahead and create a new app so you can see that. Come in here, it's gonna be a script. First, we need to give it a name. So demo app, call it a script. Something goes there. About URL, we don't have one. And then redirect URL, we'll just put localhost or not a bot. Create the app. Once you create the app, here is the ID and the secret and then the name, ID, secret, and name. Here are the imports we're gonna use, so pra. Pra is the actual wrapper around the Reddit API. Super easy to use, I'll show you that. os.env, openai time, and then ice cream. First thing we're gonna do is a dot load underscore dot env to load our environment variables, and then we're gonna pull out the openai API key. Let's now start with main, and we're gonna set up the client ID, the client secret, and the user agent. We're just pulling that from our environment variables. But we're gonna initialize the pra object now, so pra.reddit. We All we have to do is send it the client ID, the client secret, and the user agent. Now let's define the subreddits. These are the ones that I have found that I use. If you use others, please add them here. You could use uh, finance, uh, invest, whatever you want, but here we're gonna use cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, crypto markets, and crypto moonshots. Those are the subreddits we're gonna be looking at. Next, we're gonna build a function here called Reddit search. We're gonna send it the pra object and the subreddits, the list of subreddits we're gonna search. So now come above main and we're gonna build the Reddit search function, sending it the pra object and the subreddits uh, array. All text we're gonna define here, that's blank. And now we're gonna just loop over. So for each subreddit, in subreddits, our list, we're gonna do many things several times. We're gonna do a time.sleep here. We're just gonna be nice uh, to the Reddit API. So just sleep one second in between these calls. Here is where we actually engage the pra object and we're gonna do this pra object dot subreddit. That is the first subreddit in this scenario. Dot top, that means we're grabbing the top post. In this scenario, the time filter is for the week, but you could do this for a day, for a month, or for whatever you want. We're gonna limit this to one, the top post, but obviously this could be way more than that as you're doing your analysis. Once we get the answer back, then we're gonna do the title. So post.title, and we're gonna add that title to our all underscore text. That all underscore text, we're gonna return it back to the caller. This is an important concept here, this replace underscore more. That's why I put some comments in here for you. So this controls the more comments object. Those aren't loaded uh, by default. So you need to load those so you can get more comments coming in. And if your parameter is none, so right now I've said it's a three. If the parameter is none, then it would actually load all the comments. That could take a while, but that's what it would do. We're actually gonna have it just load three, and then we're gonna grab two of them. So now what we're gonna do is loop through the array of two comments. We're gonna grab the body of the comment, we're gonna print it as debug, and then we're gonna append that body to our alt text. The idea is we're getting the top post for that range, and then we're getting uh, the comments for those posts, and we're gonna add that. Once we loop through all of those, we're gonna do a dot join all that together and make it in one giant string. After we get that answer back from uh, Reddit, for the Reddit search, we're gonna now engage our AI, and we're gonna send it that data that we just received from Reddit. Come back to the top of your program, and we're gonna define the engage AI uh, function, and we're gonna send it the Reddit data. We're gonna first define the system message, basically telling the AI, what are you? And here we're saying, you're an expert at reading Reddit posts, 
and understanding cryptocurrency trends and topics. For the user message, now we're gonna say, analyze the following Reddit threads and identify which cryptocurrencies are mentioned the most frequently. Provide a summary of the top cryptocurrencies discussed along with the context or sentiment of the discussion where possible. And by the way, here is the data. Here are the messages that we need to set up. So the system message and then the user, user message. We're gonna print the debug here of the user message to the screen. And then we're gonna actually call openai.chatcompletion.create to engage the AI. We're gonna use the model 3.5 turbo, a lot cheaper, max tokens 2048. And then there are the messages that we're gonna send it. Okay, once we get that message back, we're just going to send back the content, choices, zero message content. It. We're going to return that back to the caller. Then we have our answer. Let's go ahead and run this again and show you a little more debug. So here's some of the output. So it read cryptocurrency, Reddit, and here was the top one, Bitcoin, Wells, unload about this much at BTC in one week. Next, the, the Bitcoin, sold all my Apple stocks and my wife sold her gold. Here's one in Ethereum subreddit. Here is crypto market subreddit. So still talking about uh, Bitcoin price. Here is the crypto moonshots talking about uh, squid chain and L2 blockchain. Here is the prompt that we actually now build up and send to ChatGPT. And here's the answer that came back. So it analyzed all those threads and then it said uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum and squid chain. It'd be really interesting as you build up a lot more data, send that to ChatGPT to pull out that sentiment for you. If you enjoyed this content and got anything out of it, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.